Hello everyone, welcome to Archana's home recipes. In this video, we are going to see how to season a clay pot. Around the world, different cultures have different techniques of cooking food in clay pot, but seasoning is important to prevent cracking of the vessel when exposed to high heat. There are no toxic materials or chemicals go into the making of these cookwares, so hence it is eco-friendly and also it is safe to use in most of the kitchenware and the taste is also earthy and it is ancient cooking. There are few steps which we need to follow and let's see them one by one. The first step will be soaking. Soaking the clay pot will let us know whether there are any visible cracks because we are going to heat them and cook them on high temperature and high temperature or any drastic change of temperature will make the cookware burst. So soaking will absorb all the water and then it will prevent from cracking. And also before making the cooking if there is any crack which is invisible to our eyesight it will help us to notify. And here which I have this clay pot is a medium size and it also comes with a lid. So when you are soaking it always soak the bottom piece and the lid together or in a separate bowl. Today I have taken a deep dish where I was able to soak both the pot and the lid together. And always soaking takes about close to 4 to 5 hours. It is better if you leave it overnight. But make sure the water is completely covering the pot or the lid or the, or the type of cookware which you use because it has to be completely immersed. There are chances for the pot to absorb some water so always have it little bit extra. While the soaking process is taking, you can see these little bubbles which just comes from the pot because the air holes which is inside the pot but because it is made from clay right it has so many air pockets in it and you will see the bubbles or the air getting released from our clay pot soak it overnight and then let's see what happens the next day it's been 24 hours right now and let's see how well our pot has been soaked it will be a little bit slippery when we just take it from the water so just be careful I'm having a paper towel or a kitchen towel next to me and I'm just going to place it because there are chances for the color to just get transferred to the pot or the table. And make sure you just note the change in color of our pot the, and the water which has been soaked. The color we'll just see it is less teeny little bit of the color from the pot and I don't see any dust or debris in the bottom. This means this pot has been perfectly baked. Next. Let's take a clean paper towel and then let's start wiping the water from it. You will still see some clay parts and some mud coming out from the pot because after all it is made from clay and even if it is evenly baked we will still see some clay and then mud sticking in the corner. So it is very very essential to clean all these debris before we uh, go for the next step. You can use any old cotton cloth or you can use a kitchen towel or a paper towel. Any soft cloth so that we will not have any scratches in the pot or in the lid which we are cooking. Since this pot comes with a lid also, I am also cleaning it because when we are cooking it, we are going to cover it and then we will have mud or debris sticking in the lid also. And this pot has a holder so you always make sure that you go to the little spaces around the corners and clean the debris as much as we can. And still we have soaked it, it will be a little bit easier for us to remove all these debris. Next step will be checking for any cracks. We have already soaked our bowl in a full pot of water. Now we are going to check for the secondary crack check. I have taken 500 ml of water. If you would like, you can fill the entire pot with water. I'm just taking 500 ml to just double check it. And let it sit for 4 to 5 hours and let's see whether we have any other cracks in the bottom. And I'm also uh, keeping the clay pot on top of a plate so that I can see any water leak. And let's confirm by checking the water in the first place and then we are going to pour the water in the same cup that we refilled it in the beginning. You should see a little bit of difference, not too much because the pot will absorb little bit of moisture. You can see it is close to 500 ml, just 50 ml of water has been reduced. So it is not a big difference and I don't see any uh, cracks or leaks on the plate. Again the same way I am going to clean the interior again 
to double check whether we have any other uh, mud or any clay or the paint which has been sticking. You can see the paper towel it is almost close to clean and I don't see any of the clay uh, remaining sticking to the paper towel. So our clay pot is almost there and let's see the final step. The last and final step to season our clay pot will be oiling it. I'm using a little bit of gingerly oil. You can use groundnut oil or olive oil or any type of oil which you use in your house but not neem oil because neem oil will give you a little bit of bitterness. Oiling is a process is to again to stop cracking because uh, this pot is going to be reheated again and again and change of temperature will make the pots crack. So the oiling will keep all the materials absorbed and it will stop cracking. Once you oiled the pot, you can keep it in sun or you can just keep it in some dry spot and then let it completely absorb the oil. It will take at least 4 to 5 hours and since I have a lid and a pot, I am doing the same process for the lid. In case if you get any oily smell from the pot after you oiling it and sun drying it, you can again soak it in water so that uh, excess oil will be released. You can see our pot is beautifully seasoned and let's try to cook and make sure never ever heat an empty pot in any gas stove or any other stove because again I said it will crack if we have any drastic heat to it. I'm adding a little bit of oil and then I'm adding one tablespoon of coconut slices because initially it is better to discard one or two cooking items because we will have some clay particles or mud in our uh, clay pot because there will be chance here and there even after the soaking and oiling process so always discard the first and the second uh, cooking so that's why i'm just trying with little bit of coconut sizes so that i can just discard it you can see it is already starting to cook and it is less than a minute and you can see the heat is completely spread through all the sides from the clay pot I am cooking in an electric stove so it just takes a little bit of time to get the initial heat. If you cook on an open fire or a gas stove you can see the cooking time will be even faster. And within a minute you can see the coconut slices they are already trying to get brown and golden color on the sides. This means the heat is evenly spread and you can see the oil is also bubbling which means the heat is completely being spread from the bottom. The other important step which we need to follow while using a clay pot is do not hard scrub it or do not use any hard scrubber because we will have any uh, marks on the clay pot and that will lead to crack. So always use gentle scrub or any sponge to clean the clay pot. And it is very easy to season the clay pot. All we need is time and a little bit of patience. So just follow these little steps and then you can have a beautifully seasoned clay pot. As I said, clay pots are made with no chemicals or no harsh chemicals. They are eco-friendly and when hooking with a clay pot, you will have the authentic taste and some earthy flavor to it. I hope these tips will be very useful to you. I will meet you all in another video. Until then, bye for Parchana. Take care. This video is also available in Tamar. I have put the link in the description box. Do check it out. Bye-bye.